Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back for another YouTube video. This week I want to talk to you about something important, which is some mindset changes you can make, which will significantly improve your freestyle kayaking. I've been talking about freestyle kayaking a lot in the last couple of weeks. A lot of kind of videos uh, in that genre and I wanted to keep it going uh, a little bit longer because that's something I like talking about and it's something I like doing and hopefully these tips are going to be kind of useful and you'll be able to applicate them. Applicate? Apply? Apply? You'll be able to apply them to your own uh, freestyle practices. So what I want to talk about really is mindset and especially persistent perseverance. And this is something that I think a lot of people struggle with in, in freestyle world and they get stuck on something or they can't make progress or they're comparing themselves to others who are making progress faster and they just throw their hands in the air and they say, I can't do it, that's it. And the answer is never, I can't do it. It's just, I can't do that yet, you know? And we can all improve ourselves with a few easy mindset changes and make it a lot easier for us to have a lot more advancements a lot more quickly. And so the main thing I'm gonna be talking about in the next few minutes is uh, persistent perseverance. And it's easy for me to sit here and be like, you, you just gotta keep at it and keep at it and keep at it until eventually you get where you're going and learn whatever trick you're learning. And that's that's true, but it's also like, you know, it's, it's better when you have an example. So here's my example. Uh, in Uganda in 2017, I really wanted to learn this trick called bread and butter, which is Basically, it's like a, a forwards blunt into a backwards blunt, and a really steezy one is like a forwards pan am into a backstab. Um, and it's a trick I've wanted to learn for ages, and I've always struggled with, and I was like, okay, this trip, I'm gonna put everything I have into figuring out how to do this. And, and I got my camera, and I had it set up, and I was paying one of the Ugandan kids like on, to hang out on the shore there to, to film every ride for me so I could go back and, and look at what I was doing. I'm gonna talk about that in a minute. Um, but in the course of a six week trip, I had hundreds of attempts to try this trick. And I'm not kidding you. I have like more than 300 video clips on my computer of me trying and failing to figure out how to do this trick called the bread and butter. And I tried and I tried and I tried. And some days it felt like I was going nowhere. And some days it felt like I was going backwards. And some days I would feel like I was edging a little bit closer. And eventually, right at the end of the trip, I managed to pull out uh, a few of these bread and butters and I was really hyped about it um, because it meant I, all the hard work I'd been doing was paying off. And without that persistent perseverance, I probably would have just given up or gone back to the staple tricks I can do every time or, you know, not wanted to learn that new thing at all. So this is just one example where I've deployed this like persistent perseverance. And I'm being really careful to use those two words together here because I think you you have to have perseverance, but you have to have persistence at the same time and those things have to be be together because without using those two, um, it's really difficult to kind of maximize the, your potential, right? So you need to be persistently persevering in your goals. Try that saying fast five times if you can. So that's the first thing I wanted to talk about. You've got you've to keep at it and you've got to remember that we're all kind of in these like peaks and valleys, right? We're all having days where we're like up and up and up and doing really well uh, and everything's going great. And we're gonna have days where maybe we're tired or we're not feeling very well or we didn't eat right or the water conditions aren't great or you're paddling someone else's kayak or whatever the situation is where you're gonna have these ebbs and lulls too. And that's totally normal. Not every day is gonna be better than the last day, but you need to keep putting in the days so you can have that better next day. Uh, and I think a lot of people lose sight of that and they just, they get kind of, I said this in another video recently, that you get zoned in on something you've already done that now you can't do. And it's totally, that's just part of the process, part of learning and part of growing and getting better. And you just need to like detach that, like, well, I've done it once so I can do it again. Just get that out of your mindset and just kind of be present, be focused on what's happening like now, today, what you're doing. And it's gonna make a big difference to you in the long run, I promise. While I was trying to learn that trick, that bread and butter that you may be seeing on your screen right now, um, I was trying over and over again, and I think Einstein said like trying to do the same thing over and over again and expecting different results is is the definition of madness. So, that's worth a Google. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna Google that in a second. Um, but I wasn't doing exactly the same thing every single time and expecting something to be different. 
almost every day I would try and think of one small thing I was going to change, whether that was like whereabouts on the wave I started or how much edge I put in in that initial bounce or when I landed or where my body was when I landed or where my head was looking. And there's lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of small changes we can make um, that I made in that example, but that you can make in the same thing if you're learning like your first flat water cartwheel or your first double pump or you're surfing your first wave looking for those one or two small things you can change and then just get some feedback from that and see how it feels see what's working see what's not is really important and you have to be persistent and persevere and find those small changes you can make which are going to help kind of make your freestyle kayaking a lot better another thing that ties in really nicely to that is watching other people and i as much as i can try and paddle with people who are better than me. The reason I do that is uh, mostly so that I can watch what they're doing. I can watch where their head's looking when they're going down a rapid or like what their boat angle is or what their edge is or all of these small things. The more you watch them and you, you have to watch them and be really critical and look for what they're doing and then be critical on yourself about what you're doing differently. And the better you can be at looking at other people and not just saying, well, they're really good, but seeing why they're really good, the, the easier it is for you to make progress and bring those changes into your own paddling. And especially in freestyle, because there's so much nuance change just between a slight change in where your body position is or where your boat angle is or the amount of edge you have. It's huge. So the more you can look at other people and watch what they're doing wrong, what they're doing right and why, and then apply that to your own paddling, the, the quicker you can make that progress. The next thing that follows on from watching other people is asking other people, um, like, how do you do that? What, what are you doing differently there? Where are you looking when you're trying to do that one trick or, or whatever it is that you're working on? And but going back to our Uganda example here, I was lucky enough to run into one of my friends, Ben Ma, who is really sick at this trick bread and butter. And I got him to show me a couple, so I videoed those so I could see what he was doing. And we talked about it um, kind of at length actually, and he gave me some really good insight into what he thinks about when he's doing it. And then I tried to take some of that into, into what I was doing. And ultimately it did really help, uh, but I needed to hear, you know, just some different words to what I'd been working on, which kind of clicked some, clicked some lights on for me and I could really see what was going on. The next step to that kind of leading on nicely is using video to help you improve. And this is something I'm gonna talk about a lot more at length, I think in another video, um, because I think video analysis is a super underutilized tool that's really important for all levels of kayaking from very starting out beginner to like the highest level expert. We can all gain something by seeing ourselves on video and not just thinking like, damn, I look good, my color coordination is on point, but really like looking at what we're doing and breaking that down into some very small uh, specifics. And I've seen a lot of progress when I've done this in my personal paddling. And this year I've been working with a couple of athletes um, who don't live close to where I live, but we work through videos to improve their kayaking. And I've seen some big gains in those athletes I've been working with, which I'm really stoked about. So I know video analysis works. Uh, I know it's not always easy at first, but I know videoing yourself and looking back and seeing where you're going wrong and where you're going right is a, a big step on the path to getting better. And I'm, that's gonna be a whole nother video. So I'm just, I'm gonna put a pin in that for now and we'll do that at a, another time. Okay, next thing I wanna talk about really kind of leading on from that is that no skill is too basic to practice. And I've got another great example of this one, uh, another anecdotal story, if you will. This spring, I was paddling uh, on minibus wave here on the Ottawa with another good friend of mine from England, Nick Bevis. And we're both pretty accomplished freestyle paddlers. We can do a lot of stuff. But we both noticed we were kind of like plateauing a bit um, at minibus and, and we were trying to figure out why. And we spent probably two or three days of paddling there, like two sessions a day, really digging in to our front surfing which is a very basic skill but it was an area that we both identified that was probably holding us back from progressing in other tricks was that our front surfing skills were not as good as they needed to be in that in that location and we talked about it at length we were watching each other front surf and where we were front surfing and how we were front surfing and really breaking it down into some really small details but ultimately I saw really big gains and I felt a really big improvement by the, like, by the last days we were surfing that wave. I could feel the difference it was making 
just by like really trying to hone in on this one basic skill. So no matter how basic, a skill seems. If you don't have those really, and I said this in another video recently, if you don't have stellar basics and stellar building blocks to work on, you will never progress to the harder tricks and the harder maneuvers and the harder things in kayaking because you don't have a good foundation to work from, right? So you need to have those basics down and dialed in and better than perfect if, if that's possible. And lastly, I said it earlier in the video, I'm gonna say it one more time. Remember Rome wasn't built in a day, right? Like you are not gonna to get to your ultimate goal of where you wanna be paddling at, what tricks you wanna be forming and the waves you wanna be surfing at overnight. And you shouldn't expect that just because you started looking at yourself critically and you started like taking this persistent perseverance mindset, um, that you'll just suddenly improve like that. Like you're gonna start getting better but you're not gonna be where you wanna be overnight. Like I'm not where I wanna be now after years of practice and years of training and years of thinking really hard about what I'm doing. And that's okay, like we're all in these peaks and valleys. So just keep at it, keep working, be critical with yourself, but don't be too hard on yourself, right? Like you have to move forward, like see the good and the bad because there is good and bad in everything we're doing. So keep that in mind and yeah, that's kind of all I've got to say for, for this week, uh, persistent perseverance. Mindset changes, I hope some of these help you. Let me know if they do in the comments below. Uh, like I said, another video coming up in the next few weeks, I hope, about video analysis, because that's a super big topic and super important, I think. And yeah, I will see you in a future video. Uh, if you do like this video, be sure to like it with a little thumbs. That gives, uh, gives me a bit of a hand and it pushes up the YouTube algorithm and more kayakers are gonna see it when they click on YouTube and it'll be suggested to them. So if you're enjoying it, please hit like. It does help me a lot and helps more people get helped by this video, which is kind of the goal. And if you're not already, make sure you hit subscribe. I appreciate you. I appreciate everyone who is here with me every week checking these videos out. And I will see you next Monday. Peace.